laborers from organized and unorganized sectors, laborers from organized sector, the labor sector is divided as primary, secondary and tertiary sectors. Similarly, based on the securities and facilities available, the labor sector is further divided into organized and unorganized sectors. The sector which is enrolled as per the law of the government, and provided fixed wages, facilities within the framework of law is called organized sector. This sector is guided by Minimum Wages Act, Factory Act, Special Allowances Act, Provident Fund Act and many other acts in support of laborers. In organized sector, institutions like school, hospital, industries, government-related services, commercial banks, life insurance companies, military and others come. This sector has to take the permission of the government before it begins its function. It is also mandatory for them to pay taxes. It is the responsibility of the institution to pay special facilities and provide employment security for the workers. It is mandatory for them to provide pay on specified dates along with overtime pay whenever the workers have worked more than the stipulated time. This sector is guided by legal modalities. The relationship between employee and employer is guided by legal provisions. Laborers in unorganized sector The unorganized sector of work is that sector where legal provisions do not completely govern. In this sector, the relationship between the employer and employee is not guided by any legal provisions. There is no need for registration. This sector does not follow the legal provisions of the government. There are no tax provisions here. This includes minor transactions. There are no tax provisions here. There is no fixed time or duration for this work. Moreover, they work day and night without break. Most of the laborers in this sector earn daily wages. The minimum wages in this sector usually stays below the mandatory pay fixed by the governments. The laborers won't receive any medical benefit or overtime benefit. They do not get any paid leaves. Laborers like construction workers, loading and unloading workers, brick kiln workers, landless laborers, small and marginal farmers, fishermen. BD workers, mine workers and many such laborers belong to this sector. Laborers like construction workers, loading and unloading workers, brick kiln workers, landless laborers, small and marginal farmers, fishermen, BD workers, mine workers and many such laborers belong to this sector. The fact that most of the laborers work in unorganized sector denotes the condition of workers in India. In total, 90% of the laborers work in unorganized sector.